Hello everyone, Risky Toothpick here, back again with something new, and today we're going to play Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. You've probably seen the movie, hopefully, it came out a couple years ago, and then, you know, there was an even older film, and then you had the books, but, you know, we're just going to jump in here. This is Blind... The development you predicted in the Kastner case happened unexpectedly. Please come back immediately. How can it be unexpected if I have predicted it? Poirot, my friend, is that you? Alrighty. Go to M. Bach at the reception desk. So like I stated before, this is blind. Don't really have not played the game at all, so hopefully the audio is good. And uh, we can assume the murderer is upon us. Over here, Poirot. Let's go to his buddy. Poirot, is it truly you, my friend? Book, it is indeed me. What brings you so far from home? A little affair in Syria. An affair of the heart? No, no. A modest affair of recovering stolen artifacts. But now I am summoned home to England and must leave immediately. This evening? You travel on the Orient Express, I hope. I have made no arrangements yet, as I just learned that an emergency has arisen, and I must return to England immediately. Very well. It will be my pleasure to secure you a sleeper on the Orient Express. If the director of the line insists, I accept with pleasure. And we'll dine together, for I too depart this afternoon. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. I'll have the hotel transfer our luggage. Excuse me, sir. You are the director of the line? The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if she may keep her minor in her compartment on the train. Uh, good morning, Princess. It is an honor to welcome you aboard. There is absolutely no problem for your pet. You will ask about his food? Oh, yes. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if there is food for minors on board. Insects, uh, small amphibians, baby rodents? Baby rodents? Uh, of course, Princess. Don't worry. Your bird will be fed as you demand. You there, desk clerk. One moment, sir. Listen to me. Call the police. My train ticket has been stolen. Stolen? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You travel by the Orient Express, monsieur? Arbuthnot. Captain Archibald Arbuthnot, formerly British Army, now retired. And yes, I'm taking the Orient Express to Paris. But what business is that of yours? My name is Book. I am the director of the line at your service. And perhaps this gentleman could assist you. He is Hercule Poirot. I... oh. Uh, but I must make that train. <laughs> A train ticket. Yesterday I recovered artifacts worth several millions. Please, my friend. It's not just any ticket. It's an Orient Express ticket. Very well, I will investigate. Thank you, Poirot. I will arrange a car to Sirkechi station for us. Alrighty. The stolen ticket. The player's current objective is represented by the icon. Press the Y button, open the mind map. So talk to Captain Arbuthnot. Okay, so it kind of tells you what you need to do as well. I'll say we'll figure out how easy it is to solve cases pretty soon here. How do you know your ticket has been stolen, monsieur? I put it on a table in my room. 
I came down here to breakfast, and when I got back, my ticket was gone, and other things were on the floor, as if they'd been tossed about. Hello, monsieur. I suggest we begin in your room. Will you lead the way? New node. All right, so how to find the ticket? What can be done to find the captain's ticket? Connect the elements on the left with those on the right. So search, interrogate, inspect. So probably search the bedroom. Integrate, integer, interrogate the, the neighbors and then inspect the door. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. Alrighty, well we got it on our first try, that's good. At least we're not that foolish. Not yet. Floor, Captain Arbuthnot? Fourth floor. Oh, one mystery solved. But the question is, who is that? I'll say no reason for us to go to any other I floor. I suppose I can exercise my powers of observation while we wait. Ooh, what, British, right? 45, retired captain. We know he's a retired captain for sure. Let's see. That's the right answer. So you have to remember what people say. Character analysis are special workshops. Once completed, the analyzed character will appear on the characters tab in the pause menu. Okay, there we go. Bach, 52 years old, Belgian director of the Wagon Litz Company. Archibald, 45 years old, British retired captain. Nothing in the inventory, but there are some mustaches to collect. Probably already missed one. There's probably one in that first room. And the mystery of the stolen ticket. My room's along here, 411. In a hotel of this quality, a thief. Okay. Come on, come on, don't dawdle. I gotta look for them mustaches now. Oh, he he moves fast too. It'll be a too. disaster if I miss that train. I don't know where he went, man. Oh, don't think he went that way. Someone has. Rejected their breakfast. Not a mystery worth pursuing. Yeah, let's just keep on moving here. Quick. There are some crazy noises going on in these rooms. Okay, so we got that. Is there anything suspicious here? Oh, what is that? Is that a mustache? Looks like a golden mustache to me. Another golden mustache to treasure. Let's see if we did miss one in that first room. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Interesting. Okay. We probably did. It's kind of unfortunate. You have locked the door, monsieur? Naturally. This is a foreign country. You have the key card? Of course. We will enter. The lock has not been tampered with. Alrighty. So no one snuck in, or at least no one broke in. They have to have the key. Hmm. Water with traces of soap. The water is scented. 
What's going on here? We got a lot of things going on. I should go to the captain's room. Yeah, we did all that. So that's a dead end. Let's check the bathroom. Oh, another mustache. Almost missed you it there. You can never have too many of these. Wow, look at them lights. Those are fancy. I'm guessing the bathtub and stuff's over here. I'm assuming this is the uh, scented perfume or whatnot that we found in the water. A perfume bottle. Empty. Suggestive. What's going on with this shower? Oh, cold and hot water. Whoa, look at that shower head. That's that, uh, was like that rainfall shower head. Water just drops down on you. Oh, an earring. So he had himself a mistress. That's probably the person who stole his ticket. This earring, it is not the first time I've seen it, but where? The bed is skillfully made. Oh, his wallet? The wallet is somewhat worn. It contains just over $200 and the usual cards. Man, those are some... Okay, first off, though, uh, this is back in the day. Like, this is uh, not the time period now. So why are the American $100 have that blue strip? Because that's like money that's more recent. Something that, you know, they probably uh, overlooked. Hmm, a fact sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. Man, it's kind of messy in here. You gotta clean this up. A stamped reservation for the Bosphorus Ferry. Okay, it's a little weird to open up a... Uh, the brochure for this fascinating city. A little weird to open up cabinets and counters and whatnot here. Nothing there. Just, what is that? Choco break. Break your teeth, more like it. Oh, mustache, give it to me. Come to Poirot, my exquisitely sculpted friend. I guess that's everything here. Oh, his medal. A conspicuous gallantry cross for meritorious service in Iraq. Yet he only retired as a captain. I guess maybe not everything was sunshines and rainbows in his uh, previous uh, occupation. A list of travel expenses, but how did these papers end up on the floor? Okay, I think that's everything in here. Let's go to our mind map here. Okay, so we're missing one thing. Yeah, we checked all this. It has that symbol. It must be in one of these rooms. Probably that other bathroom. Man, I don't really see anything. I think I can think of we missed something on this. Oh no, the window. Four floors. It's impossible for a thief to have exited through the window. How could a thief get into the room? Mm. 
I don't think they went through the window because that's very impressive. The door was enforced. Et voilà. Now we got it. Key card. Only person with a pass key could have entered the room. So someone the captain knew. Or maybe someone he uh, slept with. How long were you at breakfast, Captain? A half an hour or so. Just a roll and some coffee. Okay, so we learned about his breakfast. Go away, please. A brief word, sir. I will give you two brief words. Go away. Monsieur. I've been traveling all night from New York. Must I call the management? Pardon, monsieur. I do not believe we have awakened a thief. Okay, so he did not know what went down, but maybe one of these two doors will. The room is apparently empty. I will leave it for the moment. So, did we complete that? Looks like it. Talk to the captain. I found several interesting things in the room. Sir, your ticket was stolen by someone you know. Why was there an earring in your room? An earring? A previous guest, I suspect. I don't wear them. Did you leave the window open? No. That must be how the thief escaped. I think not. Unless the thief had wings. The bed is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. We. Oui. Alrighty. How could the ticket have disappeared? Select two elements that reveal how the ticket could have disappeared. The captain invited someone. There we go. A woman spent the night in the room. Window and then the scattered papers. The wind blew on the papers, that is what pushed them down. I guess we got what we needed. The wind probably blew the papers on the floor as it came in through the window. Moreover, the door is closed. And I found an earring on the bedside table. The captain invited a woman into his room. Maybe she is our culprit. That was easy. I'll say we figured it out. Could the wind have blown the ticket from the desk? Let's go with the woman. Why why just blame it on the wind? Like that's just an easy answer. Let's go deeper. Hmm, this direction looks promising. Who is the woman? I want to say it's that girl. I think she had fancy earrings and I don't think he's going to sleep with the older princess. That was easy. So I, what I do like about this game is you have to remember what you've seen and what you've heard. At least to get it right the first time. I must ask the captain about the earring. All right, let's start to, uh, you know, make him sweat by uh, asking the hard questions that he doesn't want to hear. Captain Arbuthnot, I have examined your room. Much was revealed, possibly more than you expected. Rest assured, we will soon find your ticket. It's about bloody time. I have a train to catch. As do I. You are traveling on the Orient Express? We. Oui. 
If you will be good enough to answer a few questions, we may both make our train. Ask away. Please give me an account of your movements yesterday. I spent most of my day in Istanbul, sightseeing. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key. I spent the night alone. I had no visitors in my room. Which of these sentences contain a lie? So the lie is I spent the night alone. I had no visitors in the, my room. We already know a woman was in the room, so let's confront him. Have you told me the entire truth, Captain Arbuthnot? Of course. I want you to find my ticket. Earring. Can you explain the earring I found on the bedside table? An earring? Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, forgive me, Mr. Poirot. I had some business correspondence that wanted answering. The hotel provides help for business travelers. They sent up a secretary. I dictated a letter and she mailed it for me. I hadn't noticed that she had lost an earring. And when did you invite this uh, secretary? This woman may be the thief we are looking for. That was yesterday evening. My ticket was still there when I went down to breakfast. She can't have taken it. Hmm, I see. Never mind. It is easily checked. And uh, there was no other person in your room? No, I swear there wasn't. Ah, uh, well, never mind. If it is not her, there is only one option left. Fine. Please finish your job quickly. I'll be downstairs in the lobby. Why is he so secretive of the woman? All right, let's see what our next goal is here. Ask the desk clerk. Okay, this is actually good so we can actually check that uh, building for another uh, golden mus mustache. I'm just kind of walking around just to make sure there's not another mustache kind of hidden about. Looks like we're good. Alrighty, so first things first, before we talk to the desk clerk, let's look for that mustache. I'll say keep an eye out. It's probably like blended in. Hidden in one of the corners. Oh, there's our buddy. Surprisingly, no mustache. No, could be hidden somewhere. The hotel to Catlian is a perfect prelude for my journey. Indeed. Pardon, monsieur. May I inquire when the staff begins cleaning the rooms? Every morning at breakfast time, sir. After making certain there are no guests in the room, of course. May I speak with the chambermaid who cleaned room 411 this morning? I hope you don't think that one of our staff stole the ticket. No, 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 no. Do not distress yourself. We seek only information. I will summon her at once. Oh, I'd ask her to bring her laundry cart. Alrighty, so I'm guessing we're gonna look through her cart and then, in, you know, interrogate her. Do not be frightened, mademoiselle. Did you clean room 411 this morning? Room 411? Yes, that is one of mine. Did you see a ticket on the desk when you entered the room? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice a ticket. 
There was a wallet, but of course I did not touch it. Yeah, did you open the window and cause all that problems, all those issues? Did you open the window? Yes, we always air the rooms. Oh, but I forgot to close the window. While I was making the bed, the person from next door was pounding on the wall. I wondered if he needed assistance. I tossed the dirty sheets in my cart, quickly finished mopping and went to see, but it was nothing. But I'm afraid I left the window open. I'm so sorry. A window left open, papers scattered on the floor. The chambermaid cleaning the room. I believe I can now visualize what happened. Reconstruction of the scene. Put the events in the right order to find the right chronology. Okay, so the chamberman opens the window. Or maybe this goes here. She parks her cart behind the desk. She's changing the bed linen. The wind blows the ticket, lands in the cart, and then she throws the dirty bed linen on top of it. Beautiful. My little gray cells did not let me down. The only issue is we missed one mustache somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Poirot is not going to touch the dirty laundry. Damn, he's not willing. But alrighty, let's go talk to uh, the retired captain. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to look in the sheets from room 411? And so the missing train ticket completes its strange journey. An open window, a laundry cart, and an annoying neighbor. But chance is the only guilty party in this dark mystery. Mr. Poirot, I apologize. I believe my concern got the better of me and I forgot myself. Thank you. It was a case of great magnitude. I'm glad I was up to the challenge. And that, I think, is that. Okay, so it wants us to talk to him. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's going to end the chapter. So, our goal now... And, we, we, of course, we only have a few minutes left. It's time for us to look for that mustache. At least to give one, you know, good look up and down the area oh never mind our bags are all packed i have my ticket and papers if you give me yours i'll hang on to mine but as your secretary as my secretary you see to the bags hector yes yes sir that man i have a curious impression of him as if i were observing a wild animal uncaged Okay, so there's a little bit more going on. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's not here. We're going to waste a little bit of time just trying to figure this out. We're going to do one, you know, quick walkthrough, 
And if we can find it, we can find it. We're going to go the opposite way. Someone has rejected their breakfast. Unfortunately, not worth pursuing. he's not willing to open it up to see. Some fancy colored uh, flowers there. Okay, we found one there. I mean, we, relatively speaking, we really searched this room up and down. And in fact, we found one of the mustaches in here. I'll say, I, was, I would assume that one, but it's empty. Yeah, there was a mustache on the sink. We got that one. So really, three of them were in this uh, area. So if I was going to be that fourth one, I would be in that reception area. The room. Yeah, still empty. So there we go. We checked. We didn't find it. Now let's move on. The only other thing I could think of is in the beginning when you're, when you have to decide which uh, floor to go to, if one of the other floors had the mustache, that could be the case, but I would be very upset because that, you know, you have to go out of your way. But let's look, it might be in here. Say it might be hidden behind a, a person or a flower pot. Maybe on the reception desk. Can we get back there? I don't think so. I think we're actually blocked and fortunately we can't. So I think we have to just keep on going. Maybe the chapter will not finish just yet. I doubt it though. But at least we tried our best. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, let's keep on moving. We must leave for the station. Our bags are in the taxi. Did you find the ticket? It was a case most difficult, but somehow Hercule Poirot managed. I knew you could do it. Now we can sit back and enjoy a relaxing train ride. I doubt that. You are in luck, Poirot. Of course, no journey on this train is ever ordinary, but this is a special occasion. To celebrate the 140 years of the Orient Express, the engine will be none other than the splendid Pacific 231G558. There she is, Poirot. The most celebrated train in history. Oh, my eyes fill with tears of pride. It is time we were aboard, my friend. Follow me. The wagon lead conductor, Pierre Michel, will direct you to your compartment. Lead the way, Bonk. It was built in France in 1922 by the Compagnie Batignol Châtillon. At the time of its purchase by the SNCF in 1938, it could reach speeds up to 130 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Wait until you see. It is like traveling back in time. Today, the train is limited to 100 kilometers per hour. I assure you, 
That will be more than fast enough to get you to Paris in time for your connection to London. In the meantime, you will bask in the magic that is the Orient Express. Alrighty. Let's check real quick. Uh, yep, whole new chapter. And there are some things that we can kind of investigate here. So we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. Next time we'll explore the area and then we'll climb on board the Oriental Express.